With my colleague, Dr. Charles Adler, and our collaborators at Banner Sun Health Research Institute, we are looking at ways to make a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease sooner than when patients develop motor symptoms. Our research through our brain and body donation program is helping us to better understand Parkinson's disease and make that diagnosis sooner. Right now, what our understanding of Parkinson's disease is, is that it starts with several uh, non, what we call non-motor symptoms, and that is patients will lose their sense of smell or have a decreased sense of smell. They can develop constipation, and they can have something called REM sleep behavior disorder. Those are all considered precursors to Parkinson's disease. They can be ongoing for 5, 10, or 15 years before patients develop motor symptoms, which can be a rest tremor or slowness or stiffness. As clinicians, we can't make that diagnosis until they present to our clinic with these motor symptoms. And by then, we know that they've already degenerated the majority of their dopamine neurons. So the disease is pretty far progressed by the time they present to us. So our goal and hope is that, can we diagnose people sooner? Can we diagnose them five to 10 years before and then take that, you know, that handful of patients and or I should say subjects and treat them with something that can stop or slow the disease. Why do we want to make a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease sooner? Because if we do so, we can then treat with a, hopefully with a disease modifying therapy and stop or halt the disease. And that's the ultimate goal of our research is that Parkinson's as of now is not a fully understood disease. We know that it's a chronic progressive neurodegenerative disease. It gets worse and worse and we don't have a cure for it. The hope is that if we can diagnose this when people have very minor symptoms, then if we can have a treatment then where we can halt that progression of the disease, then we're not dealing with patients who have severe motor disability and they have shuffling and difficulty moving. It's a much harder disease to treat when it's in that advanced stage than if you can treat it when it's premotor and they have very little symptoms.